Hi and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and this is my first tutorial in English. My native language is German, so please forgive me if I make some mistakes in the pronouncing. In this tutorial I will explain you how you can do a beauty retouching of the skin without losing any details. But first of all, a big thanks to the model, Sana, for that taking me this picture. Okay, let's start now directly in Photoshop. I will now remove the stains and blemishes on the surface of the skin. To do this, I create a new empty layer on the top of, the, of my image. And with the repair tool, I remove them. So, let's remove this one, this one, this one, this white spot here, this spot, this spot, let's see, this big spot down here, and this spot, here's a little tiny one here. I'll work a little bit on this ones here. So I think it's good for now. Luckily the model has a beautiful skin so we don't have much to do. Okay, I think it's all fine and dandy now. What is the tutorial? That's enough. The image is a little bit too red, so let's do a color correction in the red tones. In this case, I lower, lower the saturation a little bit to remove the strong red. So, good corrections, color correction, and saturation about about 18. Okay, that looks good. Now <coughs> we have three layers. Let's copy them, select all of them and press the Alt key and move your mouse upwards with the pressed left mouse button and then you have a copy of them. These three layers I'm going to group them in a new group. I call this original and I hide this. Um, I do this every time because I want sometimes I want to go back and I don't want to lose all of my work so I always keep a backup. Now, select these three layers and reduce them or combine them to one layer. So, now we copy this layer and we change the blend mode to vivid light and we invert this layer. Now we convert this layer in a smart filter object because we will maybe we want to change some settings so it's better to have a smart filter object. Then we're going to use the high pass filter and we use a radius of 40. Now the skin is all soft. Sure we have loosened the contours and the pores but uh, in a minute you will see we're getting them back. Press OK and now we need another filter, a filter which brings back the pores. We have inverted the, the picture and you see the, the high pass filter is working the opposite direction. It it's do not sharpen the image, it softens the image. So now we need a filter uh, which sharpens our high pass filter 
and some of you may think, okay, we use the sharp filter now. No, because we working on an inverted picture, we now need to work to use the Gaussian blur filter. Gaussian blur, and we do maybe yeah. That would that's okay. Zoom in a little, zoom in a little bit, or not here. Okay. It's. I did this tutorial before, so I know uh, a value of two up to three is okay. So now we have a really smooth skin, and now we have to get back the, the pores and the contours more. So first we mm, uh, let's do the contours first. Double click here in the empty area of your layer, then go in the color range and with the Alt key pressed select this dark triangle and move it move it upwards to the white until you get back your dark parts. I think here it's no, not all, we have to split it, so okay. Oh, that's that's cool. And now with the white, with the bright bright parts of the image too and move it down until you get your bright parts back. Oh, I think that's cool. Um, now um, we need to get back the pores a little bit stronger because still we have the problem pores are there but not this tilted this detailed uh, which I like okay so let's copy the last pixel there and put it on top of our of our previous previous layer and let's convert this image in a smart filter object too and now Let's use the high path filter again, but now with uh, with uh, about eight pixels, and change it here to soft light. <coughs> if you need more pores, or you you have a main model and you want to get a stronger look of the pores, you can use hard light. If you use hard light, the pores coming back much more stronger, but here um, I think it's given it a, a waxy look, so we use soft light. Now we have the pores back. Um, and if your skin here is still too smooth, you can add some noise. In the noise filter, you can add noise uh, with a really tiny value, let's say 4%, and you get uh, the boss a little bit back, a little bit more a little bit stronger back uh, to get a more realistic look, but mm, that's uh, opinion of of the artist. You want this or not? Um, I I don't want it here, so I cancel. And now let's group our two layers because 
we don't want to have the softness in the eyes, in these hairs, in, in, in the lips, in the teeth. So we need to mask out this. We need to mask out two layers, so we need to group them. And let's make a new group and call it uh, Skin Retouch. So now uh, we mask, mask it out all at once. So press the Alt key and the Mask key. And um, you see just now uh, the the fit, your our work has done a lot of lot of sort of softness. If you um, if you deactivate the mask, you can see it's really uh, a cool cool feature. The model is looking much younger younger, and uh, if you turn it off or, or you, you activate the mask. Um, the model is looking much older. Um, now let's uh, paint your the retouch, the retouch layers back. We need um, we need a brush, and we need it soft, Re really soft, and we need an opacity of uh, let's say. Uh, around about 38. That's a bigger brush here, and go over it. And yeah, that's important. You have to paint with white, not with black. So you have to change your foreground color to white. Now we can go over the image and paint our softness in the in the picture and don't don't touch the eyes don't touch the eyebrows don't touch the lips we don't want a softness in the lips or in the eyes so and on the contours don't go over the contours so much uh, because you soften them up and you're losing them. Only go like this on the contours. So, let's do it up here. Yeah, on the neck. So well, now we can put up the opacity a little bit, and we can work on some airs with strong paws to soften them a little bit. Oh, and now we can hide this layer again and we zoom in a little bit and you see the little tiny hairs here and when we activate our skin retouch layer the hairs are still here but the skin is much more softened you can see it's look beautiful now sure the, the model uh, looked beautiful before too but uh, you know what I mean um, I prefer this technique. Um, I think it's the best technique to uh, soften the skin. Uh, there are a lot of techniques around, but uh, this technique does not destroy anything. It you 
you don't lose any details and that's the good thing about it you have soft skin you have your paws you have little hairs you have your contours and that's in my opinion it's a good retouching you you have to retouch a picture or image but you don't have to lose you don't don't have to lose details with your work if you are good at it so you can you can see it in in, in certain um, yeah, in, in the Vogue or another uh, printed um, media medias. Uh, there are often terrible retouches. So and you know now this technique, and you can. For sure, you can in future you can say, "Oh my God, that's that's bad retouch, or this is a good one," Be because you you know now uh, there are technique uh, that helps you to not lose any details on a soft skin. So I think we have finished now. If you liked this tutorial, please uh, like this video. Uh, down here under the video or subscribe my channel. I hope I do much more Photoshop tutorials in English in the future um, and I am will uh, improve my English. I swear. Okay, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.